this is Matt from Investicon. Today is Thursday, March 31, 2022. Today is the last trading day of March. It's also the last trading day of the first quarter of 2022. And that's what we're going to be looking at this morning is what has happened historically on this last trading day of the quarter. And I'm going to put it in the context of being pretty strong here recently. So let me go ahead and grab all four instruments. The setup is based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. For this one, I don't know where we're going to open. Um, at the time of this recording, we're not too far away from yesterday's close. So I'm just going to leave that out for now. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is head down to calendar. I'm going to grab the last trading day of the quarter. It's found in the unique days, but the quickest place to grab that is always the act of today. Just click on that bottom option, last trading day of the quarter. And then we go to indicators. And normally I use a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. But I think for this one, I'd rather put it in the context of, you know, what have we done for the quarter? But I think what I'll do is we don't have a moving average here exactly based upon how long a quarter is, but we do have this last close versus medium term moving averages, uh, moving average here. And a quarter is around 63 days normally. You got about 21 trading days in a month. So it's gonna be somewhere between this 55 and 75 day simple moving average. If I go to the active today, I can see Last close versus medium term moving average. Uh, S&P closed above the 55. It closed above the 75. Closed above all of those. So it's going to be above that. In fact, we can go to, let me open a new tab here and click on more. Go to key levels. We've got all kinds of uh, little tools within this platform. One of them, let me go moving averages right here. Click on that. It'll tell us where all the moving averages are at. So if I go down here, 55 day simple moving average for the S&P, 44.20. Looks like the 75 day simple moving average, 44.93. We are well above both of those. So that means uh, we're gonna be above that 63 day simple moving average as well. But um, I'm gonna grab that 55. I'm gonna say we are above a 55 day simple moving average, which will kind of simulate where we're at relative to the average price of the trading quarter, which is what I'm trying to do there. So I've got that selected. Now I'm going to click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when it is the last trading day of the quarter and the prior session closed above the 55-day simple moving average. Historically, 51 samples in the S&P. We've got 47 in the NASDAQ, 49 in the Dow, 49 in the Russell. Win rates on these look like they are a touch weak on most of them. Uh, S&P, 43%. NASDAQ, 40%. Dow, 51%, Russell, 41%. So three of the four are a little weak there. If we look at the average moves, S&P's average win larger than its average loss. That's true for the NASDAQ as well. That's true for the Dow. Not the case for the Russell. Russell is more evenly split there between average win and average loss. So historically speaking, we've got three out of four that have a little bit weaker win rates and three out of four that have larger average moves to the upside on this last trading day of the quarter. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.